Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing matrix and determinants and this is the lecture number 10. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 9 before watching this part 10. Uh, this is the exclusive part of uh, syllabus uh, in which uh, there are questions in JE main but it is not actually part of uh, this one. Uh, it is part of school syllabus that is CBSC curriculum. But it is although it is very very important topic and thereafter in this lecture we will discuss one more thing uh, where there is a uh, one part which is exclusively in CVSC but not in competitive examination that is elementary road transformation. So uh, let us discuss first we are going to discuss Kramer rule and thereafter uh, we will discuss elementary road transformation or we can do any one of them first. So, let me discuss first uh, elementary row transformation first. Okay, no issue. So, elementary row transformation. Elementary row transformation. Row transformation. What is that? Elementary row transformation. And this one, we have in this method, we have to find uh, inverse of matrix using elementary row transformation. So, this is a part of matrix and uh, we have to deal with this, this question, uh, this method. So, that this is a basically a question uh, for marks which is usually asked in a school examination. But the method is given and book and that is a part of syllabus so we need to discuss them. So, we know the it is a property uh, we know already and that uh, <coughs> a is equal to i is equal to a is equal to i a right now because identity where i is an identity matrix i is an identity matrix identity matrix right so i is an ad any identity matrix and a is any a square matrix a square matrix and a is not equal to 0 then only inverse is calculated can be calculated so in that case if i multiply by uh, change such a way that this will be going to be by elementary row transformation this is going to be i then that will also correspondingly change and we know that a inverse a is equal to i. So, whatever things is left there that will be considered as a inverse. So, this concept is basically um, we have to develop to find a inverse of any matrix. So, there are several uh, steps uh, in which we can pursue this elementary row transformation and that steps to be remembered first. Otherwise, uh, there will be problem. So, certain steps are there and we have to deal with those steps first. So, suppose we have a matrix of order 3 into 3. So, if A B, any square matrix of order 3 into 3, a square matrix, if A B, any square matrix of order, square matrix of order 3 into 3, then the following steps following steps to be taken taken to find a inverse by elementary row transformation elementary row transformation transformation right so, what is that? What are those steps that we need to know? So, this is what this is a note, and you must remember this. Now, the steps are the first step is a step one. A step one make a one one as unit, make a one one as unity unity that is 1 then 
step two using using a11 make all other elements of elements of first column zero zero then third step is make a22 as unity again one and fourth step is using a22 make all ele other elements elements of second column zero Now fifth fifth step is make a three three as unity and sixth step is using a three three make all other elements other elements of third column in zero. So these are six steps which you need to calculate which we have to proceed to make A11, A22, A33 as unit and using them we have to make all other elements of the respective column as zero. So just uh, I am writing one question using of for 2 into 2 matrix using elementary row transformation transformation find inverse of inverse of matrix here it is given 3 4 or even 3, 2 and 5, 4 like this. This is a matrix. So we will write here solution can be written like this is matrix of order 2 into 2. So here less step would be there. And let A is equal to this is a matrix A 3, 2, 5, 4. I have written. And now the fact is that A is equal to AI. We know here determinant is not equal to 0 because 4, 3 is 12, minus 10 that is 2. So obviously the inverse is possible. But if determinant is 0, then we cannot proceed. Now we know the fact that A is equal to IA. So we can write 3, 2, 5, 4 is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 that is identity matrix and A. This A, no need to write the value of A. We will have to write A as it is. Now, as per the assumptions, as per the method described here, first we have to make A11 as unit. So, A11 that is the elements belong to first row and first column that is we have to make it a unit like this. So 3 can be made uh, 1 by dividing 3 throughout the row or we can subtract them uh, even second row, first row minus second row. So using R1 tends to R1 minus R2, we will have here 3 minus 2 that is 1, 5 minus 4 that is 1. So that will be 1, 1, 1, 1 and there will be 2, 4 and here it will be 1 minus 0 that is 1 and 0 minus 1 is minus 1 that is 0 and here is 1 and that will be A. Okay. So, A11 one one is what? A11 one one is unity. The first step is there 1 minus 0 and 0 minus 1 is minus 1. A will remain the same. Now, uh, by using this fact, 
that we have to uh, make first elements of all other elements of column first column zero so we have to make this zero so c row 2 row 2 will be using this first how can you do make it zero twice of row 1 if I subtract from row 2 then it will be 0. So R2 tends to R2 minus twice of R1. So that will be uh, 1, 1 and twice of R1 so it will be 0 and twice of this this will be 2. If I write here also same thing. So 1 minus 1 R2 is going to tell 0 minus 2 that is minus 2 and here 1 minus minus 2 that will be 3 and a will be there. Now we have to make a to 2 as unity. So this has to make unity. Now here thing is that either you can subtract second row minus first row then it will be 1 but there is a problem. What is the problem? That this 0 what we have make it and that will be minus 1 also. So don't do like this. What you do need to do is uh, you can divide the second row by 2 then it will be so 1. So we can write R2 tends to half of R2 that is 1 by 2 R2. In that case it will be 1 0 1 1 and this will be also divided by 2. So 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 3 by 2 and A. Now using A to 2 make all other elements of this column is 0. And how to make them 0? I can subtract simply. So next step will be R1 tends to R1 minus R2. In that case, what will be? 1 and this will be 0. That is uh, 0 and 1. Only R1 is going to change. So R1 minus R2 it will be 2. And minus 1 minus 3 by 2 is minus 5 by 2. And uh, this is minus 1 and this is 3 by 2 and that is A. Clearly, I is equal to A inverse A. So, using this fact, this will be equal to A inverse. So, since I is equal to, this is identity matrix and that must be A inverse, then only the product of A inverse into A is equal to I. So, therefore, uh, A inverse is equal to what comes? that is 2 minus 1 minus 5 by 2 and 3 by 2 that will be answer of this question. So uh, this is what if you calculate directly uh, by finding at join uh, of A and uh, A inverse can be calculated by determinant of A to a joint of A then they will not give you any marks. So must be uh, aware about that that be sincere. So, a joint of A can be calculated of 2 into 2 matrix is how? What I suggested that change the sign of uh, place of these two and sign of these two. So, a joint of A can be calculated easily. The determinant of this is 12, uh, 12 minus 10 that is 2. So, just check it that whether our answer is correct or not. Just for check of sake of convenience, it is not necessary. Uh, side by side, I am writing here that of whether this is correct or not. Let us check it. What is this? 3, 5, 2, 4. A is 3, 5, 2, 4. 3, 5, 2, 4. And uh, this is what the matrix. So, we can write it easily a uh, determinant of A is equal to uh, 4, 3 is 12 minus 10 that is 2 and now we can find the joint of A. So, a joint of A can be written as easily uh, just change the position of these two 4, 3 and minus 5, minus 2 that will be a joint of A and now A inverse can be calculated by A inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of A into a joint of A. So, that will be 1 upon 2 into 4 minus 2 minus 5 and 3. And if you divide this 2 inside, then what will happen? It will come like 4 divided by 2 is 2 and minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1 and that will 
will be minus 5 by 2 and 2 3 divided by 2 that will be 3 by 2 and this is what comes here. So definitely the answer is correct but you have to go with this method only. Elementary row transformation. Only you have to deal with elementary row transformation. I hope you got it. So we have to deal with this. So let us do some one more question, at least one more question of uh, order 3 into 3. So question is find A inverse by elementary row transformation. Elementary row transformation. Row transformation. A inverse by elementary row transformation. So, how to deal with uh, this question and A is given here like uh, 2, 1, 3, 5, 2, minus 1, 1, 0 and 1, say this is minus 1, 0 and 1, this is A is given and you have to find A inverse. So, again using the same fact that we know A is equal to fact is that we know a i is equal to a is equal to i a a is equal to i a and so we can write here that is 2 1 3 5 2 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 and i is an identity matrix so that can be 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so it is understood fact that if matrix is of order 3 then identity matrix to be also taken of order 3 right so now the thing is we have to as per the method what we have described earlier uh, we have to make a 1 1 as unit so this to bring them unity uh, either we can divide by 2 or we can uh, write like R1 minus R2. R1 tends to, we can write R1 tends to R1 minus R2. Then what will come? Let me write here the steps. The first row will is going to change 2 minus 1 that is 1, 3 and minus 1. The first row will be 1, 3 and minus 1. The second row will be uh, 1, 2, 0. 1, 2, 0 and the third row will be 3, minus 1, 1, 3, minus 1, 1. This is what I have written. Now, uh, if R1 minus R2, then 1 minus 0 is 1, and this will be minus 1 and 0. 1 minus 1, 0, then that will be here, this side, 1 minus 1, 0 and 0, 0. This is 1 and that will be 0 and 0 and 1. Okay. And this is A. Now, by using A11, we have to make all other elements of first column to be 0. So, what you need to write? Here you can write like uh, R2 tends to R2. This has to be made 0 using R1. So, R2 minus R1. And R3 tends to R3 minus 3 times of R1. This is the simple. And you can do this. So, what will come? Let us write here. R1 is not going to change. So, we can write it as it is. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0. This will be 0. And R2 minus R1. So, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. And 0 minus minus 1 is plus 1 and R3 minus 3 R1. So, this is minus 1 and 3 times of 3 that is 9. Minus 1 minus 9 that is minus 10 and 1 plus 3 that is 4. So, here this will come and in this way first row is 
going to remain same. R2 minus R1, so 0 minus 1 is minus 1, 1 minus 1 that is 2 and this will be 0. R3 minus 3 R1, so that is minus 3, this will be 3 and that will be 1 and A. Now as per uh, the given rule, we have to make A22 as unity. So to make A22 as unity, we can write R2 tends to minus of R2, that is minus 1 times of R2. So in that case, this will be same 1, 0, 0, 3, minus 1. This is 1, minus 1, minus 10, 4. And that will be 1, minus 1, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, and minus 3, 3, and 1. So sign of second row to be changed. And that what I did. Now using a to 2 make all other elements of this column 0. So clearly the things to be here R1 tends to R1 minus 3 R2 and R3 tends to R3 plus 10 R2. So in that case what will happen? 1 0 0 and this will be 0 1 0 and here R1 minus 3 R2. So minus 1 minus minus plus 3. So minus 1 plus 3 is 2. And R2 is as it is here. Now R3 plus 10 R2. So 4 plus minus 10 that is minus 6. Here what will happen? That will be um, R1 is R1 minus 3 times of R2. So 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 1 plus 6 is 5 and 0 this will be 0 and 1 minus 2 0 and r3 tends to r3 plus 10 r2 so minus 3 plus 10 is 7 and 3 minus 10 3 minus 10 is minus 7 and 1 10 times of 0 is 0 so it will be 1 only. Now we have to make A33 as unity as per steps. So again I can write R3 tends to minus of R3 so that it will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 and that will be 2 minus 1 6 and sign of R3 will change minus 2 5 0 1 minus 2 0 and minus 7 7 and minus 1 and that will be a now using r3 make all the other elements is 0 so what will happen in that case to make this one using i can write r2 is equal to 1 by 3 of r3 if i would subtract r1 minus 1 by 3 of R3 and R2 tends to R2 plus 1 by 6 of R3. So that will be 0. In that case, this will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and that will be 0, 0, 1. Isn't it? First, I have to make this unity now, A33 as unity. So, either you can do that also first. First, I should write here uh, this one A22, A33 is equal to 0. So, we can write R3. Here, I have written that is minus 1 by 6 R3. I should write here minus 1 by 6 r3 so minus minus plus and 6 so that will be uh, 7 by let me write this uh, minus 7 by this uh, will be 1 so this will be 1 and that will be uh, minus 7 by 6 7 by 6 and 1 by 6 so now using R3 you have to make this to 0. So we can write 
R2 tends to R2 plus R3 and R1 tends to R1 minus 2 times of R3. So that will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and that will be 0, 0, 1. Now R1 minus twice of R3. So this is minus 2 minus 2 times of this minus minus plus it will be roughly I can write minus 2 and 2 times of R3 so uh, minus 2 and 2 times of R3 is minus minus plus 7 by 3 2 times so 3 to the minus 6 plus 7 that is 1 by 3 so it will come 1 by 3 now again 5 minus uh, 2 times of R3 that is 7 by 3. So 7 by 3 is 5, 3 is 15 minus 7, 8 by 3. So that will be 8 by 3. And now 0 minus uh, 2 times of R3 that is 1 by 3. So it will be 1 by 3. Okay. Now uh, R2 is not going to change, R2 is also going to change and what is that? R2 plus R3. So 1 plus minus 7 by 6 is minus 1 by 6. Minus 1 by 6. This is minus 2 and plus 7 by 6 that is minus 5 by 6. Minus 5 by 6. And this is 0 plus minus 1 by 6. Is minus 1 by 6. And the third row will be like uh, minus 7 by 6, 7 by 6 and minus 1 by 6. So this will come. This will come and in A. So clearly I is equal to A inverse A and therefore this will be A inverse. This is a rough work so I need to remove that. And thus A inverse is this one and therefore uh, we can conclude that A inverse is 1 by 3, 8 by 3, 1 by 3. Therefore we can conclude A inverse is equal to uh, matrix like this 1 by 3, 8 by 3, 1 by 3, 8 by 3, 1 by 3 and then minus 1 by 6, minus 5 by 6, minus 1 by 6, minus 1 by 6, 5 by 6, minus 1 by 6 and the third row is minus 7 by 6, 7 by 6, minus 1 by 6, minus 7 by 6, 7 by 6 and minus 1 by 6. So this is what A inverse and that is the answer of this question. So I hope you got it right now. So this is A inverse in fact. So you need to understand, uh, it is not a big issue, first thing is that you have to understand this uh, basic phenomena and uh, if you learn the method properly, then definitely you will be able to uh, solve it quickly, and there is no problem at all and uh, what are those steps, so these are the steps and you need to understand and memorize these steps, once you memorize these steps, definitely it will be first step is A11 that is unity and now you have to write uh, first column to be make 0 this is 1. Now the second one is uh, this one you have to do then again you have to go with the second A22 as unity this one and then make all other elements of this column is 0. Similarly if I have to make A33 as unity and then all other elements using this is equal to 0. So, uh, what I did, if there are two matrices, then uh, your work is complete and four step only. And if it is uh, order three into three, then your work will be completed after six step or less than six step, but not more than six step under any circumstances. So, these are the six steps which you need to deal with. And hopefully, if you memorize, there will be no problem and definitely will be able to. Um, get the answers in a systematic way. So that's all in this uh, lecture and as I suppose I'll promise you to solve grammar rule. So grammar rule we will discuss uh, 
in the next session the present this time so till then bye bye god bless